what's going on guys welcome to a new video so i was doing some research the other evening um i tend to do most of my research in the evening so during the day is kind of like the day-to-day -day runnings of the business and then in the evenings tends to be when i like do the self-education on research and looking at different things anyway i come across this particular store and i thought it'd make a nice topic a nice video to do for you guys just to show you the sorts of things that i'm looking for and ultimately a bit of a motivation as well so these guys are called tuck tech folding kayaks and their monthly profit is 85,000 US dollars, which translates into about a million dollars profit every single year. They turn over $5 million every year, so that's a profit margin of 20%. I love looking at businesses like this because not only is it motivation for myself, um, it allows me to look at the kind of things that they're doing, um, look at the strategies they're using, the kind of content they're producing, the kind of ad creatives they're using and that sort of thing and gives me ideas for my own businesses. So whilst it's educational for me, I feel like it's going to be educational and inspirational and motivational for you guys as well. So the company is four years. So a very, very, very successful business given the time they've been in business. Let's come down into, before we go into the background contextual information actually, let's cover their primary expenses and the revenue. The interesting part, the exciting part, which is of course the numbers. So the cost of goods is approximately $200,000 each month. The overhead and labor of this business is $120,000 each month and they spend $160,000 on ads. If we have a look at their revenues, we can see that in June, numbers were high and we're now coming into June now and numbers are high. So this is obviously a summer product. During or outside of the summer months, the average revenue is somewhere between sort of 200 grand in and around that area with profit margins, with very good profit margins still in excess of $30,000. In those most profitable months, obviously they make all their money in the summer. They're boasting profitable or profits, I should say, of close to $200,000 in those months. To summarize then in their overview for the last 12 months, we can see an annual revenue of $4.5 million and an annual profit of $1 million. So what I'm going to show you in this video basically is what a business that makes $1 million profit every year looks like. So regardless of what stage you're at in your business, then you know what you need to be striving for. And I'll be pointing out those little things, those little, even though these guys are making a significant amount of money, there's still the sort of strategies and things that you can implement into your business as well. So here we are on their website then. This is their homepage. The first thing you noticed is that um, it's not a dropshipping store. It doesn't look like a dropshipping store. There's no connection at all to it being a stereotypical Shopify store. That's probably one of the biggest killers. Um, one of the biggest reasons why people fail at this is because they're not willing to go to those extra lengths to, sorry, this is really bugging me. Not willing to go to those extra lengths to separate themselves from the competition. When you come onto here, there is absolutely no connection at all to Shopify from somebody who has been browsing the average Facebook ad and goes onto a store. What you'll also notice is the use of people in their imagery. It's not just stock photos taken from wherever. It's original imagery featuring people. And what this does is it subconsciously gives off a sense of trust because people can see that there's people behind this brand. If you go into a website and you're going to be spending money with someone, you want to know that it's a real business. There's people behind the brand and it's legitimate and it's trustworthy. And by featuring people on your website, you can do that. Now, obviously, you don't have to get your friends and family to hold your products and put it on a cheesy smile so you can take pictures of them. There are websites you can do this like placeit.net so you haven't got to go to those lengths. However, if you are looking to build a substantial business that's going to bring in an income for the long term, then go into the those extra lengths it's going to pay dividends and it will help you do that let's move down then into some of the other things so again more people more people the products there the products there more people the product more people more people more people the product the more content you can get onto your Shopify store around a specific product is really really going to help sell it it's really really going to help set you apart from the competition and it's really really going to help give off that sense of being a legitimate and professional business if you've watched my videos and you follow the channel you'll know that I'm a big believer given my experience that the number one hurdle that you have to overcome as a Shopify 
Shopify dropshipper is trust. People are so savvy now. They are so sick to death of seeing these spammy, crappy Shopify dropshipping stores. They're savvy. They know what looks like a scam. And unless you're willing to go to the lengths to separate yourselves from a Shopify dropshipping store that anybody could create in a couple of hours work, that no longer cuts it anymore. You need to go above and beyond that. I am a big fan of doing things like this as well. It's something that I do now for every product that I sell is you versus your competition. Because especially with a product like this, if you're selling a product that's over a hundred pounds, it's probably a buying decision that decision that people have to think about. They might not necessarily buy it there and then. They probably have two or three other businesses as well, which they're considering buying the products from. So if you put those other products on your site and say, here is how our product is better, you are doing that comparison for them. You are pushing them into the direction of buying your product versus anyone else's. Jumping onto a products page then. So this product page will have been responsible for generating over a million dollars since they make 5 million every single year. Um, and again, just to point out some of my favorite things. So this is something we can implement on all of our stores. It's called swatches. It costs like $5 a month. It's even built into some Shopify themes. They have this nice added touch here. And um, one of the things with a fold up kayak is probably how easy is it to dismantle? How easy is it to assemble? So they have a specific YouTube video, which again features people demonstrating how the product works. You will be surprised how far it goes to put yourself on camera or put an actor on, per, on camera um, or an influencer to really humanize the brand. That's the word humanize. If you can humanize your brand so people can relate to it and build rapport with you, then it will pay dividends. As we move down again, none of this is textbook. None of it is Shopify typical, really nice imagery, which they would have created themselves. However, this is imagery that we could create. All you need to do is use tools like Canva, upload an image, Perhaps I'll actually do a YouTube video on how to do things like this, but upload an image, remove the background, add your color, add the text, add lines, creating, once you've got the actual image of the product, creating this whole entire image is actually a very simple process. If that's the sort of thing you guys want to see and know how to do, um, let me know and I can post a video on that, no problem at all. As we move down again, just a super, super professional store. Everything is in keeping, everything is in theme. I don't think there's an image on this store that doesn't feature somebody in the product or using the product. I think a message also to take away from this is try not to be too much in a rush. Try not to cut corners too much. Try not to make too much too quickly. These guys are four years old. They have obviously spent the time tweaking and reinvesting into their business and you should do the same. Now, I'm not saying take four years, obviously, to make any money. You can do it a lot quicker than that. But instead of trying to build a store and get it done by the end of the night so you can get your ads running the very following day because you want to make 10 grand in the next four weeks, instead, take those four weeks to order a product, sample the product, take pictures, create custom imagery like this. Because all of these little things that you do will add up into separating your business from the competition, looking like a much more legitimate outfit, a lot more trustworthy, and therefore a much more likely to convert people. Let's jump onto the Facebook ads library then and see what multi-million dollar ad creatives look like. So this is launched June of this year, and we can see there is three, five, 10, 13 different creatives just for this month. So what does that tell us? That tells us that if you're only testing one ad creative and then you're ready to move on, that's not enough. You need to be testing a minimum of two, if not half a dozen diff different ad creatives, just to make sure that you leave no stone unturned and to give yourself the best chances of success. Because it might be that you have a brilliant product, a brilliant Shopify store, but your ad creative sucks. Whereas if you split test, say five, six, seven different ad creatives, Yes, you might lose on five of them, but it only takes one really good ad creative to make thousands, if not hundreds, tens, certainly tens of thousands of dollars, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. So make sure you test enough. What we can see from this, which is quite interesting, is a lot of these are just single image ads, 
which is very very surprising given the type of product because i would imagine most i would imagine most people would want to know how easy it is to use whether it folds out how to assemble how to disassemble that sort of thing that being said then to wrap the video up let's take a look at one of their video ad creators i'm not going to go through every single one because obviously you guys you know the name of the business you know how to use the facebook ad library you can head over and do your own research um, first thing I'm going to point out is number one is you can see exactly what the product is. Number two is they have a phone number on screen. Straight away that legitimizes the business. People who are scammers don't have mobile numbers. They don't, not mobile numbers, they don't have phone numbers. They don't want people to find out where they are or who they are. So instantly legitimizes the business. In case you can't hear that, there's somebody doing a voice overlay um, showing well, talking about exactly what the product is, talking about how to assemble, talking about how to disassemble, and basically saying, I'm gonna demonstrate it in this video. In case you can't hear that, basically he's touching on all the pain points of somebody who have a requirement for this product. So he's saying how he doesn't have much space in his apartment, how he doesn't have much space in his car, in his boots, how he's really into fishing, and to get to all his favorite spots require a bit of a hike, all of the sorts of things that people have probably experienced. And then he says, this is the perfect solution, or this is the perfect kayak for him. Him presenting that product as the solution to all of those problems so anybody watching the creative who has those problems will then go on to buy the products because that's what's going to solve them and so with that being said then guys i think that wraps up the video i've touched on the points that i wanted to um ho i hope you stuck with me i hope you found some value more importantly if you have i really do appreciate all the support on the channel and um, whilst we don't get many comments on the videos make sure you make the most of me because i do read every single comment it is me responding so if there's anything you need help with anything you're stuck with post it in the comment section down below and i'm more than happy to answer it for you something i want you to take away from this video then is this is generally speaking you may not be in this case this may not be you but certainly what I see the majority of people doing is they're trying to do things too quickly they're much more willing to skip corners get a store together in the space of a couple of days just by recycling content recycling imagery that sort of thing instead take a couple of weeks download the images remove the backgrounds put your logo on them add shadows make sure the fonts are matching the fonts on your Shopify store make sure everything on your store has been created by you and in the long run that's going to pay off massively i could go on and on and on about different things and so on but that's the final message i wanted to leave you with is take a bit more time to make your business look more professional and better than everybody else's thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video on wednesday cheers